How to install Lineage OS 18 based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Lineage OS 18 based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now what are the prerequisites for this video well for starters you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have twrp recovery installed how do you do that i have separate videos for both of those which can be found in the description of the video next thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any boot loops encryption issues we are going to perform a format data from TWRP recovery in which case you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device now as you can see I do have the Redmi K20 Pro and right now I am running MIUI 12.0.3.0 based on Android 10 however the steps are the same if you are on a custom ROM as well you just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you so first thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then you can go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done you can go back scroll down go into me account and remove your me account now those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you won't have the option of removing your me account next thing we can go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are switching between roms and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or it is not so for me ui you can go into settings and then you'll go into password and security and privacy for me you can see encryption and credentials it says phone not encrypted those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you need to go into settings and then you'll go into security tap on advanced you can see this is my pixel 3 and my pixel 3 right now says encrypted so that is something which you need to know because based on that we need to determine whether you need to download a file or not which brings us to the question what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of this video for starters you need lineage os 18 file next thing you need is nix google apps because lineage os 18 based on android 11 does not come with google apps baked in and yes these are google apps for android 11 i am using the macro build then you need the vendor and firmware for your variant of the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro in case you do not know how to find out which variant of the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro you have i have a separate video for that as well which can again be found in the description of this video and last but not the least if your device is not encrypted again if your device is not encrypted then you need disable force encryption if your device is encrypted then you do not need disable force encryption and in my case my device is not encrypted so i have disable force encryption downloaded if your device is encrypted do not even bother downloading disable force encryption next thing we need to do is boot into twrp for that the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twrp logo now once we boot it into twrp we're going to wipe advanced swipe and select talvik cache system and data that's it you do not need to select vendor and wipe it so again just select dalvik cache system and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the root directory the first file which we need to flash is the vendor and firmware file so this is the file i'm going to select then add more zips and select lineage os 18 based on android 11 and then add more zips and select the google apps file so we are looking for next google apps for android 11 and then 
if your device was not encrypted again if your device was not encrypted add more zips and select the disable force encryption file if your device was encrypted you should not have even downloaded disable force encryption and once you've selected all the files we need swipe to confirm flash once all the files have flashed successfully we can scroll up and make sure that everything was in fact flashed successfully so this here it is flashing the vendor and firmware we can scroll down you should have script succeeded result was one next up it is flashing the lineage os 18 file and script succeeded result was one for that as well next up we are flashing next google apps everything was flashed successfully with respect to the google apps as well and then last but not the least it is flashing disable force encryption and as you can see we did patch a uh, f stab in vendor slash etc next up we'll tap on the home button now what in case no f stab was patched well in that case you need to go into mount make sure vendor is mounted and then flash disable force encryption one more time next up all we need to do is go into reboot and select system now if you run into any boot loops encryption issues just boot back into TWRP recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP logo. Go into wipe, format data, type in yes and click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. As I mentioned earlier, format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device. So make sure you have a backup of all those things. For now, we're going to skip this type of format data, go into reboot and then select system and bam there it is we have the lineage os boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means we are booting into lineage os 18 based on android 11 the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and while i am skipping the initial setup do note that in case you want to have a look at the features of this build we do have a separate video showing off the features and first look of lineage os 18 based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that video you can find in the description and in the pinned comment on this video and since we did install next google apps we are going to use pixel launcher as our default launcher we can now go into settings and if you go into security you will see that encryption and credentials it says for not encrypted which means disable force encryption was flashed successfully next up we can go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will see that the android version is in fact android 11 and the lineage os version mentioned over there is lineage os 18 which means we have successfully installed and are running lineage os 18 based on android 11 on our redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you